make me leave my happy home. You took my love and now you're gone. Since I fell for you. He was a local fixture, you know, and basically for us as musical talents, you know, he could have been in the world he wanted to. But, and we used to talk about that, you know, Porter, you know, why are you not in New York or California? He said, you know, this is my home, Arkansas. He was a God-fearing man. He was a gentleman, uh, a, a musician just out of the world. I guess I'll never See the light. I get the blues about every night. On over the years, right up through his passing, I would play with him. And uh, it was always a, always a good time. Just positive spirit. Very positive spirit. And a lot of uh, a lot of water rolled off his back, you know, but he, he uh, just was his own guy and played what he wanted to play. And this was, yeah, it was a good experience, very learning experience for me. On behalf of the Art Porter Music Education Incorporated, I'd like to welcome you to For the Love of Art a musical tribute to Art Porter Sr., the maestro himself. And let me say thank you for being here. It's going to be a very emotional night filled with food, music, jazz. You can't ask for much more than that. Let me begin by introducing my colleague, Pamela Smith, who will be sharing these MC duties with me. Pam is also on the board of directors for the Art Porter Music Education Foundation. Please acknowledge Pam by way of applause. Thank you, Matt, and I'd like to say good evening to you as well, but we need, this is a participatory night, so that means you get to applause, you get to stand up, you get to dance, whatever the music leads you to do, we're encouraging you to do it tonight. So would you please give my co-MC, Matt Johnson, a great big round of applause. On drum, all the way from a King's Mountain Court, by the way, of UAPB, our drummer, Mr. Danny Fletcher, Jr. You know, Danny, and, uh, and uh, also from uh, Little Rock, Mr. Philip Mouton on saxophone. Now on his end, on, on the trombone, we have uh, Mr. Carl Mouton. This is Philip's dad. Behind me on bass from Little Rock. In fact, we graduated high school the same year. He'd been on the, on the Little Rock jazz scene for a long time, playing jazz, funk, rock, everything. Mr. Ivan Yarborough. All the way from Crawl Street. <laughs> but he a bad man with a sax in his hand. Mr. Gerald Johnson, y'all. Back here to my right, in the back, stand up. Originally from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he actually went to high school with Bernard McCullough. Y'all know who Bernard McCullough is? Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Mr. Sheldon Joshua. And behind me, one of my mentors with the big yellow guitar. Get fiddle. Guitar. He's been around here a long time. We played in uh, quite a few bands together. He was one of my mentors when I started college. He was graduating. He's been teaching at the University of Arkansas in Pine Bluff for close to 30 years. He mentored me. He mentored Danny. He mentored Philip, Mr. Milton Jackson, <laughs> professor. <laughs> at 16 years old, Mr. Joshua Fletcher. Thank you. 
father used to have a couple clubs down on Ninth Street. And through him having the clubs and being in entertainment, he knew the portals. So a lot of times they would go over and play cards. And, you know, I'd hang out with Benita and Ken and Reggie and R. Jr. and all that. We'd be in the den until somebody had a musical idea. And they came and kind of pushed us to the side. And they come in and start playing. And it could be anywhere from, oh, God, 10 to 1 o'clock in the morning. And uh, then after that, uh, I went to school with Benita. And uh, then me and Art became real good friends. And uh, we would hang out a lot, you know, and in particular when he moved away, come back, give me a call, I'd go hang out, and we'd practice together, and, you know, talk about stuff that he went through and what's on the road. So, you know, it's like second family. I'd go over when uh, Miss Porter cooked chocolate cake with chocolate ice. Yes, I remember that. We're gonna bring in some substitutes now. Oh. We're getting heavyweight up here. All right, I think we got Mr. Brian Brown on drums. First real taste, I, I played with art on a gig of about 500 black masons. There, like, there were like 10 other white faces in the room and they were all service people. And it just, it, it, it really was like, oh yeah, okay. This is what's happening. This is, just to feel that otherness. One of the most humble drummers that I know, and uh, he's actually playing tonight with uh, my good friend Little Ted Ludwig <laughs> at the Capitol Hotel. You know, guitarist Little Ted. He's playing later on tonight, but I wanted to bring him up, and he he kept calling me. He said, "Dan, I really appreciate, want to be a part of this show, but you know I'm gigging." And I said, "A lot of us are." So, Mr. Brian Brown, y'all give him a hand. Yeah. Well, Brian used to also play back in the day. He played with Art Porter at uh, Tony's Dog House back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> on acoustic bass. And this young man played here for about 12 years with Art Porter Sr. And in fact, uh, me and Doctor for Forget Forget All Kenny Reed. We were up in uh, Chesapeake Bay, Virginia. We were doing a concert series up there, and uh, we got the call from Little Rock that uh, Mr. Carwin Pleasant had had a stroke, and that was uh, Art Senior's uh, bass player for a long time. But Joe stepped in, and he had already been playing with Art. So Mr. Joe Cripps.
seven is um, I started a show band, Portrait, and Mr. Porter was our uh, musical producer for a short period of time. You know, he would uh, come to rehearsals and you know give us pointers and basically just listen to the rehearsal. You know, he used to tell us all the time, "Hey, I can't tell you guys nothing. Y'all got it." <laughs> you know, but it was long around the same time with uh, Come Function. You know, we did a lot of. Uh, joint projects with Confunction, the Barcades, you know, Right Track, during that time in the late 70s. But that's uh, that's the main relationship that I had with, with uh, Mark Porter Singer. Okay, so without further ado, I'd just like to introduce IJ. of the same church and of course being musicians we played together quite a bit and also away from the church and the biggest thing to me was his theme song uh, a lot of people still don't know that but I composed a uh, minor key the theme song to his TV show and I must say my wife and I she's a co-author of minor key and that was a wonderful experience for me. Uh, I was doing a show with him. Uh, he mentioned that we were looking for a new theme. And actually, I thought he was joking. This was during the interview of the show, and he mentioned the theme. And I didn't know that. And later on, he, did, uh, he said, I'm serious. So thus, minor key, the theme song for the show. outside that particular mold and be able to express themselves. I don't think any other subjects outside of the arts will allow you to do that. And uh, this, it's such a cookie cut. And without music being in the school system and in their lives, I think that's, that's one of the bigger problems we had. Because I know when music, when you had to go to band, and I don't even think you have to go to gym now. When you had to go to band and gym, you, you were more physically fit. And uh, the music kept you balanced, you know. and. Uh, and regardless of how 
outside the box or the mainstream you may have been, you could find a place in music. <laughs> birthday. That's why we're here tonight. It's a posthumous birthday because the late great Art Porter Sr. is no longer with us, but I believe his spirit is here with us tonight, shining down on this wonderful celebration. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. but the art, the art junior, all the porters, you know, it was just fun. Uh, and at the time I was living in Hot Springs and coming to work on weekends with art uh, over here. And everybody at work, you know, during the week would say, oh, you gotta go to work this weekend. I said, I'm going to have fun. That's what I'm doing. I'm working now, but I'm going to have fun. So it was never like a job or an obligation. It was like anytime we did a gig, you know, it was like fun, fun, fun. I guess I'll never see the light. I get the blues by every night since I. of art <laughs> and that inspires me every time. First you love me, then you snub me. Georgia, no peace. 
Just an old, just an old sweet song in Georgia on my mind. Somebody! Just found joy. I'm as happy as a baby boy with a brand new little choo choo toy. The day I met my sweet Lorraine, she's got a pair of eyes that are brighter than the summer skies. And when you see her, you'll the sun cause it's in my baby's eyes and to think that I'm the lucky one that would lead her down the aisle each night I pray that no one would steal her heart away I can't wait until that lucky day when I marry the rain. scholarship for the class of 2012-2013. And I'd like you to go to our website, artporter.org, to get all the criteria related to the awarding of the scholarship. Thank you for coming. We
And we know every child is not going to be a doctor, lawyer, physician, you know, engineer. But also in music, you know, it's the aesthetics because it's individualistic to to every person. I mean, it's something different, you know, as far as meaning, heart, emphasis. Um, and, you know, it's a career.